Next, Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government. November 11th to 15th marks the 14th annual International Education Week, a celebration of the benefits of international education and people-to-people -people exchanges. This joint initiative by the U.S. Departments of State and Education is part of an effort to prepare students for a globalized environment and attract future leaders from countries around the world to study, learn, and exchange experiences in the United States. In today's increasingly interconnected world, said U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, the principal challenges that we face are global in nature. So we need more talented scientists and engineers, business leaders, teachers, social entrepreneurs, diplomats, people in all sectors who can work across borders to find solutions. Students with experience overseas gain the knowledge, skills, and self-reliance that are needed to compete in today's globalized economy. They often become leaders whose ideas and decisions reflect an international awareness that helps build more prosperous, equitable, and stable societies. I have met many prime ministers, foreign ministers, finance ministers, other leaders, all of whom came to school in the United States. And when they went back home after their studies, they left here with a strong connection to our country and our people. International Education Week events at embassies, consulates, schools, and libraries around the world will highlight how education can build and sustain a more democratic, secure, and prosperous world. That was Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government.